Hey everybody, Nacro VMX here, and it's time for a GameCube collection update. Um, I only got three new games this uh, this week, but they seem like really good ones, so let's take a look. First up here I have Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. This is made by Atari, and it's one of the few GameCube games I've seen that has a review blurb right on the cover. It says, one of the GameCube's very best by IGN, and there's the back of it there. Um, you guys may have actually seen this the other day, uh, Angry Video Game Nerd briefly played it, and uh, he didn't give an opinion, but it seemed to be like, wow, this game rules kind of expression on his face. Haven't gotten the chance to play it yet, but there it is. Let's see. I didn't get an instruction manual, so that kind of sucks, but hey, whatever, man. Here I have a game that I never heard of called Mystic Heroes. It's funny because, um, wait, where's the price tag on Godzilla? I didn't show you how much I paid for it. I paid $10 for Godzilla. Uh, Mystic Heroes is funny because I paid $8 for it, and then later I saw it for $4 on PlayStation 2. So, yeah, you know, I could have got it for less, but I am a GameCube collector. This seems to be an RPG, which is why I picked it up, because if I'm ever bored, I can just start up a new RPG, so... Mystic Heroes. I don't know if it's any good or not. And you can see I did get an instruction manual for that one. And finally, I picked up this. Now, I'd, I'd wanted to get Pac-Man Versus for a while. I already have Pac-Man World 2. I don't know if they sell Pac-Man Versus separately or not. Um, but anyway, I got this because it has Pac-Man Versus, and that, uh, that finishes out the Pac-Man games on GameCube. And they do actually come on uh, two separate discs, as you see. Um, you know, Pac-Man World 2 is, of course, you know, just a typical action-adventure platformer type thing. Well, Pac-Man Versus is kind of a really interesting, uh, 3D sort of overhead, uh, graphically enhanced take on old-school Pac-Man, and it's one of the best-reviewed old-school-style games for the GameCube, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, notice a different sticker. I went to Play and Trade. They recently opened up a Play and Trade pretty close to me. I paid $13 for this. Which is not bad considering it's two games. Um, the one thing about it is, you know, I went to Play and Trade pretty much to check out their selection, which didn't really impress me too much, and their prices. I wanted to see how the prices compared to GameStop, and pretty much I think the prices are exactly the same as GameStop. So it's an interesting alternative and another ch and another store to check out, but uh, pretty much. I wasn't too impressed. Their GameCube selection was pretty small, even smaller than GameStop's. So there you have it. Funny thing is GameStop is still, like, if you have GameCube games you want to sell, they still take them, but they won't take Xbox games. I guess it's because these games play so easily in the Wii, and so they're still selling really well. But anyway, there it is. Three new games this week. Well, four, really, but I already have Pac-Man World 2. So Mystic Heroes, Pac-Man Versus with another copy of Pac-Man World 2. If I find a copy of Pac-Man vs. all on its own, I'll probably get that, too, just to have it. And uh, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. And I had a question. I saw a copy of Metroid Prime that said it has a bonus disc of Metroid Prime Echoes. And I don't know, if is that a demo, or is that both games in one? Because if it's both games in one, that makes it's a unique thing that I'd probably want to get. I also probably should get another copy of Metroid Prime 2, since... Uh, the copy I had got chewed by a dog. Not one of my dogs. But anyway, there you have it. We'll see you next week, hopefully, with, uh, well, definitely, yeah, with more GameCube collection update goodness. See you then.